Hello guys, Airspeed here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the high pressure fuel pump on the Audi S5. When I bought my Audi a little bit on a year ago, in the middle of acceleration, the power will just cut off. You will not feel any kind of power in the car. The shop that did the pre-purchase inspection told me everything was great on the car and you should not worry about anything. Just go ahead and buy it. And the car was a pre-owned Audi S5 at the dealership. So at the dealership also, they told me everything was good with the car. There is no problem, no issues. And I lost a lot of time researching on the internet what could be the cause of this lack of power. The first thing that I did was replace the fuel pump in the back of the car. Everything was normal for a few minutes of driving, then the cutoff of the power started again. So I knew that my fuel pump was not bad and the problem was somewhere else. I had to reinstall my old fuel pump and return the new fuel pump. So that's the first thing that I changed and it did not work. On the forums they guided me toward the fuel pressure regulator, which I changed. I bought one on eBay. It was not really expensive less expensive than the fuel pump and i replaced that but it did not work also so i had to return the fuel pressure regulator and continue looking for the problem somewhere else i can say for my case if you have a p0087 it is most likely the high fuel pressure pump at last i had to purchase the high pressure fuel pump because there were nothing else I can change in the car that was related to my problem. So these high pressure fuel pumps are really expensive. For a newly purchased car, this expense makes you feel like you're in a nightmare because everyone that you saw while purchasing the car told you that everything is clear, it's an okay and go and purchase the car. Then after you have these problems that you need to figure out yourself or you can go to a mechanic shop and they are going to charge you a lot of money to just do the diagnostic and then change the parts. I was not inclined to go that road, spend more money so I had to do everything myself. After a lot of testing on the old fuel pump, I was not sure which one was bad because we have two high pressure fuel pump on this car. So I decided to purchase both and make sure that this issue is gone for a long time. I read on the forums that the cam follower on the fuel pump also can lead to those issues and I was not really in a mood to change something else again and find out that the, that's not the problem. So I decided to purchase the high pressure fuel pump and all the cam followers that it needed. And if you inspect the fuel pump, the old fuel pump that I had on the car compared to the new one, you cannot really see any damage. You cannot see a damage on the cam followers also. And this was the first problem that I had with this car. But I was able to fix it myself and save a lot of money instead of going to a repair shop and spend thousands of dollars. Installing the new high pressure fuel pump is very easy. You do not need a lot of tools. You need to remove the fuel lines and unscrew the three main bolts holding the high pressure fuel pump. After you remove the high pressure fuel pump, just insert your finger to remove the cam follower. Then you will need to install the cam follower the same way. There is a certain way to insert the cam follower. And then you add the high pressure fuel pump and apply a little bit of pressure on top of it to help you screw the, the bolt in. After you screw the bolt in, you need to screw back the fuel lines and that's basically it. It is not really difficult to do this replacement. The hardest part is to find where your issue is. If not, these high pressure fuel pumps are on the top of the engine 
and very easy to remove them and install new ones. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like and share and stay tuned for more videos on the Audi S5.